Mel Tillis, a Florida native who defined the word entertainer in the field of country music, died Sunday, November 19th, after a long illness in a Florida hospital. He was 85. Webb Pierce recorded I'm Tired, co-written by Tillis, and the song hit number three in 1957. Pierce would go on to have success with other Tillis works, such as Tupelo County Jail and I Ain't Never. In 1958, as a result of his songwriting success, Tillis was offered a recording deal with Columbia, where he hit number 24 with The Violet and the Rose. Tillis never gave up on his songwriting, though, scoring cuts by Patsy Cline and Bobby Bear, with the latter's 1963 recording of Detroit City remaining one of country music's all-time classics. Kenny Rogers and the first edition had a major hit during the height of the Vietnam War in the summer of 1969 with his Ruby, Don't Take Your Love to Town. As a recording artist, he didn't hit the Billboard Top 10 until 1969 with Who's Julie, but by the 1970s, the singer would soon find his niche. Performances such as Midnight Me and the Blues, Neon Rose, and Commercial Affection would establish Tillis as one of the top honky-tonk singers of the day, and his live show would become one of the most in-demand in country music. His stuttering, something that Minnie Pearl encouraged him to embrace, became an integral part of his stage show, which influenced his win as the CMA's Entertainer of the Year in 1976. In the late 70s, Tillis became a sought-after guest on programs such as The Tonight Show, as well as a commercial spokesperson for national chains, such as Whataburger. His hits during this era turned out to be some of his biggest, Coca-Cola Cowboy, Send Me Down to Tucson, and I Believe in You among them. He also appeared in such films as WW and the Dixie Dance Kings and Every Which Way But Loose. In 2007, Tillis was inducted by his daughter Pam, also a successful recording artist, into the Grand Ole Opry and also into the Country Music Hall of Fame. In 2010, Tillis released his first ever comedy album, You Ain't Gonna Believe This, which earned him a number three peak on the comedy albums chart at the age of 78. Many musicians took to Twitter to share their remembrances of Tillis, including Tim McGraw, Blake Shelton, Crystal Gale, and Billy Ray Cyrus. For much more on the life and career of Mel Tillis, check out Billboard.com.